Out of the four biometric measurements that are typically collected, the abdominal circumference is the most challenging. Unfortunately, unlike the structure of the brain, the anatomy of the abdomen is not symmetrical. Additionally, there isn't a bright calvarial boundary to ensure that the planar axis is vertical and to offer clearly visible measurement endpoints. A site that measures liver size is where the AC is measured. The liver is the biggest organ in the fetal torso, and growth abnormalities like macrosomia and growth limitation can be identified by its size. As a result, the measurement of circumference at the fetal waist, or umbilicus, differs from that of an adult. The exact position of the liver's largest transverse diameter is where the fetal AC is measured. This can be identified sonographically as the point at which the portal veins on the left and right are continuous. The intrahepatic portal vein's anatomic confluence is sometimes referred to as the hockey stick. Let's understand the guidelines for measuring the fetal abdominal circumference. The point where the left and right portal veins are continuous with one another is known as the correct cephalocaudal plane, as known as the transabdominal plane. Second, the lower ribs have a symmetrical orientation. Lastly, the left portal vein's umbilical segment's smallest length is depicted. When a lengthy section is observed, the transducer is incorrectly inclined inferiorly rather than perpendicular to the midline. The ellipse is fitted to the skin's edge once the section's plane has been frozen on the screen. Most importantly, the skin edge may be quite inconspicuous and abut other soft tissue structures like the placenta or myometrium. One last point to highlight is, using too much pressure on the transducer should be avoided as it will cause the abdomen to get distorted.